And now for all the news that's fit, Margaret Wolf. Thanks, Wayne. Good evening, everyone. My top story tonight, the grand opening of the Covina Town Square shopping mall on the corners of Arrow and Azusa Streets were held today. Day-long activities ranging from pie-eating contest, uh, children's games, and a fireworks display held earlier tonight were planned. I have more details of this right now. Last August, the groundbreaking ceremony of the Covina Town Square was celebrated. Today, just 11 months later, the ribbon was cut, officially opening Covina's newest shopping mall. We're celebrating the, the completion of a groundbreaking that took place a year ago, August the 8th, 1987. And today, uh, the Hagen, Alexander Hagen Company told us that we would uh, be enjoying a new shopping center here a year later. And here we are, 11 months later, and we have 14 new stores, plus a Home Depot, and a new, beautiful, re renovated Sears and Roebuck company to add to our community here. Plus there'll be other pads that are going to be put out here where we're standing right now. Alexander we Hagen, the developer of the Covina Town Square project, explained the significance of the mall's location. Well I remember the Sears in Covina for many many years and from the time they first opened 20 years ago and I've always thought this was a strategic location and when we had the opportunity to visit with Sears, we indicated to them that we thought they should stay here rather than move to some newer, maybe regional mall site. And fortunately, they gave us that opportunity to redo this site into what you see here today. Mayor Bob Lowe was one of the many city dignitaries on hand for the celebration, and he commented on the long-term financial impact the shopping mall will provide for Covina residents. I think we in Covina are very excited about the new development because we look at it as being the anchor for the redevelopment of the whole Azusa Avenue uh, street. Azusa Avenue is halfway between two major east-west thoroughfares. It's the busiest north-south street east of Rosemead, which is about 12 miles to the west of us. And uh, obviously it has a tremendous commercial potential. It's halfway between the extremities of the San Gabriel and Pomona Valleys. It's right in the middle. And we think, look at this as being an anchor for a tremendous uh, amount of development in our community. This is the first step. And we're hoping that other promotional type stores, stores that advertise widely and attract business from a great area, will locate along Azusa. The Hagen people have indicated to us that they have hopes of further expanding the uh, shops that are already here, and uh, we're just very, very excited about the whole project. Okay, and also, finally, I guess, how does this turnout make you feel? There were so many people here today, that's got to make you feel pretty good. I feel this is a great way to start fiscal 1989. We're, uh, we have a new council, it's an exciting council, energetic council, and we're on the move, and this is the first thing that we've done. But aside from the day's celebration, Covina residents will have a new outlet for shopping. Randy Gordon, the executive director of the Chamber of Commerce, noted the variety of the coming retail shops. Well, besides Home Depot and the remodeled Sears, uh, they're looking for a major tenant that is undisclosed at this time. But there's several other small shops. There'll be several restaurants, and there'll be a six multiplex theater. About a year ago, the Hagen organization came to the city and made a proposal and they indicated that they were interested in revitalizing the Sears project here at the corner of Arrow and Azusa. And they showed us renderings of things they proposed to do, and they told us of how they were going to build the building and landscape the facilities. But often developers tell you those things, and then when you come to see the project, it didn't pan out. But in this case, actually things are better than any of us had a right to dream of. The dream came true today as shoppers visited the renovated complex, enjoying the variety of new stores. For QC News, I'm Margaret Wolf, reporting from the Covina Town Square's grand opening. Now, Monday marked the opening of the Covina Public Pool located in Covina Park. According to Bobby Kemp of the Community Resource Department, the pool is open between Monday and Friday at 1.15 to 3.45, and that's for open swimming. Uh, it, it's closed on the weekends, but swimming lessons are offered during the mornings, and you can call the uh, Covina Parks and Recreations for more information about that.
If you are looking for something entertaining to do on the 4th of July, you might consider going to Covina Park. The Lions Club will again be putting on their an annual carnival. Lots of good food, games, and prizes will be offered, and the carnival starts at 10 a.m., and once again, it's at Covina Park. Now, finally, tonight, a look at the weather for tomorrow. It's going to be pretty much uh, exactly what it was today. Low clouds will greet you in the morning, but they won't hang around for too long. Expect them to be burned, uh, burn them off. <laughs> Expect them <laughs> to burn off by the afternoon, causing hazy sunshine for the rest of the day. The high in Covina tomorrow should top out around 95 degrees. Well, that's going to do it for me tonight. Have a great uh, Fourth of July, but be careful. Don't drink and drive, and be careful around fireworks. They are illegal. Um, I'll see you again next week. Uh, take care. Good night.